So is estrogen safe for women who have a family history of stroke, increased risk of clotting, or any issue surrounding thromboembolism or any clotting issues? And what you might hear from your doctor is that you absolutely cannot use hormone replacement therapy. And this is what I call a half-truth, hormone half-truths that doctors are telling you. That's what I'm going to call this series of videos where I'm kind of debunking what doctors often tell you because they only have half the information. And the why I'm saying that is because this is partially correct for specific types of hormone replacement therapy. It can absolutely increase your risk of stroke, of clotting, of thromboembolism. However, there are types of hormone replacement therapy that do not do that. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So which ones to avoid, which ones to look for. First of all, you absolutely can be a candidate for hormone replacement therapy and enjoy all of the benefits for cardiovascular health, heart health, bone health, mood, hair, skin, nails, body composition, disease risk, overall extend your life with transdermal estrogens. Now, the reason why most doctors are saying that you can't use hormone replacement therapy is because they are referring back to the 2002 study, which is the Women's Health Initiative that was done using what was the popular methods of hormone replacement at the time, which was oral equine estrogen. So a conjugated equine estrogen in a pill form called Premarin that was taken orally. This was really what they used pretty commonly back in that time. We don't use that as much anymore because of the risk. What was found in the 2002 study is that women taking this conjugated equine estrogen orally actually had an increased risk of thromboembolism, clotting, and stroke. And the reason for this is because oral estrogens are metabolized through the liver, and the liver creates clotting factors, which can increase risk for embolism, clotting, stroke, and can cause some problems. So if you have a history, family history, or any issues in that area, you absolutely want to avoid taking oral estrogen. However, there are lots of choices nowadays and things like transdermal estrogen do not have any increased risk because they have a different mode of metabolism. So when you take transdermal, that's through the skin. Transdermal goes through the dermis doesn't need to go into the liver for that first pass metabolism. So you actually don't create any of those clotting factors because you don't have to have that metabolic process. So that's number one. And then number two, transdermal estrogen can actually, it's stronger. You don't lose as much in the digestive process or the metabolic process. So you can actually use less of it and get a better effect. So those are two reasons why it's actually safer and why we prefer it in our practice over oral estrogens or oral equine estrogens. So it's the fact that it's oral, not necessarily the fact that it's made from the urine of horses. That is the problem here. It's because when the liver has to metabolize that estrogen, it creates those clotting factors. And so there is research around it. The most notable study was done in 2007. It's called the estrogen thromboembolism risk study. It's uh, short, short, it's called the ESTHER study. And what they found is that postmenopausal women taking estrogen therapies when those who had the oral estrogens had an increased risk of uh, venous thromboembolism or VTE. And those taking the transdermal formulas through the skin had a, did not have an increased risk at all. They had no risk increased at all. So this is not my opinion. This is science. And unfortunately, many doctors do not look at the difference between biogenical hormones, synthetic hormones, oral hormones, topical hormones. And so they just see like one study and they apply that to all hormones. And that is a huge disservice to so many women who have been denied this a life-saving, life-changing, empowering, really, um, amazing and awesome accessible therapy that can really change the quality of their life, their mood, their relationships, their success. And I am a huge proponent of giving women access, giving women the education and the tools that they need to make the decision that is right for them. So bottom line here, absolutely 
If you have clot risk of stroke family history and you've been told that you cannot use hormone replacement therapy, think again, revisit that because you can't use oral hormone replacement therapy, but you can use transdermal because there is no contraindication there. So I would love to share more information with you. If you have any questions or you want to dive a little further, please comment below this video. I will go ahead and put a link to that study if you want to take that to your doctor and fight for yourself, advocate for yourself. And if your doctor doesn't listen, I recommend finding another practitioner. We would love to help you in our practice at the Healthy Hormone Club. We make hormone replacement therapy affordable, accessible, and holistic. And our club is a community of like-minded women. We support each other and really help each other thrive through perimenopause and menopause and beyond. So thanks so much for watching. Please like and share this video so we can get this information out to as many women as possible. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.